Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download and install Debian. I will show you the manual install. This means I will make three partitions. Partition one will have the boot flag and use ext4. The second partition will be the home partition and will be the largest of the three partitions and will also use ext4. The third partition, which needs to be a little bigger than twice the size of your RAM, is the swap partition. All three partitions will be primary. Once you get to the Debian website, and I'll give you a link to this website in my blog, um, take a look at the different types that you can have here. There, there, are, there are a few more, but the, these are the basic ones. This 64-bit, obviously, if you have a 64-bit computer, then you're going to need a 64-bit version of this. If you only have 32-bit, then just, just take the 32-bit. The 32-bit will work on a 64, but if you've got 64, you might as well use the 64, right? This net install basically means you have a smaller set of files that you have to download, but when you do the install, you will have to go to the internet to pick up some more files that you, you need. The bigger uh, um, file, this is better if um, you don't have an internet connection when you're going to be doing the installs. So um, it, it has a lot more files. It's, it's going to be a lot bigger and it won't need to go to the internet to be able to fetch any files during installation. This um, live one here is uh, if you want to make a, uh, a live USB, which I'll show you how to do in another tutorial. But for now, we're going to download this one, this small one here. And you just download it. Wait for that to download and then as soon as it's downloaded, we can get on with the installation. The first thing we need to do is to start Parallels. If we click on this plus sign, as this one in the middle that we want. going to do this uh, net install so find it and then select it give it a name click install I want English so Kingdom. And I'm going to choose the British English. Go to continue. The password for root. Continue. Re-enter the password. And now um, enter your real name. We're going to go to manual. And 
select this one and select yes choose the one that is free space create a new partition and we're going to give this we're going to give this 8 gig we're going to make it primary we're going to put it at the beginning and we're going to put the boot flag on We're going to move on to uh, the next one. So we'll go to back to the free space, select that, create a new partition, and we're going to make this. We're going to make it 55.7. setting up partition now we've just got the 5 gig left and I'm gonna make this um, a swap partition so we're gonna create I'm gonna leave that size as it is make it primary and we're gonna make this swap area So done setting up the partition. Just have a, a, a little check. Um, we're going to leave this and finish partitioning and write changes to disk. So now we select yes. This could take a little while. Okay, so you, you need to select uh, the country that you're in, basically. Okay, so I'm in the United Kingdom, so this will be just fine for me. And we're looking for um, a, a, a mirror that we can use. And uh, I'm just going to go with the, uh, the top one here. I'm not going to enter anything for this, I'm just going to go continue. This is asking you if you want to participate in a survey. It will send information about what you're doing. Next, you need to choose which kind of desktop you want. If you don't know which one to choose, I recommend going for GNOME or Mate just to get you started. You will be able to change the desktop environment later on. Use the space bar to select and then when you've chosen press return. Select yes. Select the second one there. Enter your password to log in. Congratulations, you have now installed Debian. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to change the desktop so that you can have different types of desktop such as KDE, Cinnamon or Mate. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.